you know, especially because you could probably over analyze it and spend 10, 20 minutes on a turn. Okay, well, this one's going to do this and coordinate with that and this and that. Because at that point, you have full knowledge. Because you know exactly what they're going to be doing. Whereas when you're playing with other people, kind of like in, in a, a battle, you have an idea of what they're going to do, but not all the time. So you sometimes have synergies, and other times you have antigies. Is that the opposite of synergies? Anti-synergy. Yeah, and I just I just read that today. Cause I was looking um how to do this. Given that it was so long, if there's any special rules, but as far as I can tell, there's no special rules. It's just whatever scenario level and just do it like normal. You only have one character. And they also had recommended um, studying this thing and then picking your abilities and, and going into it. So you kind of have most knowledge of it. I mean, we've already done everything. We've seen everything now. So taking a second crack at it, I mean, we know what's going to happen now. Okay, so I did a couple false starts a little bit. I will just deal with the spitting drake not doing anything. I'm doing the the, uh, the solo scenario. This is the spellcaster or spellweaver solo, solo scenario. It's called the Corrupted Laboratory. Uh, you can just Google solo scenarios for Gloomhaven and download this. So basically what I did is I started... I restarted my uh, Spellweaver from level 5 because that's what our prosperity level is. That's what they recommend for this. Um, at level 5 you get 90 gold, so I buy all these items. I already have some of these things upgraded, um, like the top and bottom of this, the area of that. So it's it's my Spellweaver just only at level 5. And without all my cool items. Okay, so... 4289 and I am going to be whacking one of them and generating this. Oh, the element board is not out again. God damn it. Here. Uh well let's get let's get that out first. Where is that? Here. Not allowed. You're not allowed to go AFK. Save. Overwrite. Oh. Oh, yeah. Generating fire, generating frost. Attacking Black Imp 2. For 4 damage. 6 damage. Eh, hey, killed one of the imps offhand. Good. Good start. I like that. Okay. So this imp is not going to do anything because they're both at full health. And you only have a range 4 and I'm out of your range. 1, 2, 3, 4. So you don't do anything. And that's that turn. These go down. I'm going to be doing you, and I also want to move up. So go relatively fast and go up. I don't have any poison or anything to heal, and if I can move up and... The whole point is just to poison it, and then it's just uh, one, two, three, four. I could definitely reach that, but then I have to deal with them. I'd rather do that next turn, I think. One, two, three, four, and then step in. So that's you next turn I'll do. Uh, this turn I'll just do a move. Um, I probably won't kill them, so I think you'd be the better move. So that next turn I can do a fork lightning and kill them both. Okay. Got a good start. Let's do this. Strengthen you. Shield. Uh, God. They're annoying.
Okay. So they're strengthening self. Shield and heal, but they're already at full, so... You are going to be moving and attacking. I guess your strength and doesn't matter too much because you're not going to get to use it, but... And you guys are going to be poisoning, but it doesn't matter because you're going to get stunned. So... Welcome back. Uh, so, might as well get coins, because... Worst case, I use it to upgrade some of my items to give me a better chance at this. Alright, Cold Fire, going to attack base 3 and stun, so starting with the Imp is 3 damage. And now the Drake is 2 and generate a Frost, but he has shield, so it's just the base 3. And they're both stunned. Okay, now the goal is to kill them this turn. I have to do five damage to you. I have to do five damage to each of them. And this thing only does two. We've got a mana bolt. That'll do base four. Um, Alright, so this stun got used. You still have a stun to come. So you're not doing anything this turn. You're not really going to be a priority. So I will try to kill the Imp with the Mana Bolt, I think. And use you as my move for jump. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't attack me, so you didn't get stunned. And you didn't attack me, so I didn't get muddled. Good. Uh, Alright, next turn I got seven. I'm trying to go before you guys. You're attacking. Actually, you're not because you're stunned. And I'm hoping to kill you first, so. Where I'm standing, I'm attacking the Imp for Burning the Frost. Four damage base. Five, six damage. Hey, I killed the Imp. Alright, doing good. And, oops, what was that? Uh, the Drake is not going to go because it is stunned. Oh, I forgot to move. Um, one, two. I want to go here, right? I think last time I killed the Drake and then I moved in. Why didn't I use you as the move? I was planning to attack too at the time, right? Um, and that at, at my turn, I'm gonna use the stamina potion to get back. Um, you have a three damage, and you have five health left. My best bet would be to do. Didn't I just generate some energy? Yeah, I generate frost from the move, right? Um, one, two, three, four. Drakes have, Drakes have a movement of three. Um, I'm just trying to book it into here if I need to. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I could open up the door in two turns. Do I want to use my, get this back for a jump right away? Use Manable to kill it and. Or use a cold fire and stun these two imps, maybe. Uh, last time I used the fire orbs when I went in here. Would that be advised as well again? Um, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then I... Because here I could reach everybody with the fire orbs. And then with that I also popped a potion. To try and kill them at that point. Which is the best time to pop the potions when I use fire orbs. So that's my goal, I want the jump. 
I can also use my boots, but I think I do want a jump. So I can jump, jump in two turns. And then, given I am jumping and generating fire next turn, I will be doing this to stun whatever's next. So I think those are the two better um, options here. Yeah, so that's that turn. All right, this turn, our plan is to do exactly what we did last time. Move here and hit everything. And generate frost. So this drake might actually hit me, but I'm gonna leave it behind and just take the hit, I think. So you're done. And this drake is definitely going to hit me for four damage and muddle. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, what's my 69? Uh, I don't want to get muddled. Don't muddle me. I also did not grab a modifier deck yet. The damage isn't going to matter, because um, that's just getting blocked by this thing, but the muddle is important. <sighs> Thankfully, my deck is pretty big. Um, I also don't have the curses yet. Last time I got cursed re uh, really early. Alright, so that's your attack then. Um, we are going to be generating frost and fire this turn. One, two, three, four, which activates these guys. Number one, nine. And Drake number three. I am muddled. Oh, uh, I need eight. Or popping fire orbs and the poche or that thing. Or wait, this thought. There we go. There's no shield or anything, so that doesn't matter. So it's just a four attack on all of them. Starting with the Drake. Muddled is four damage to that Drake. Uh, so you're half health. To the imp is plus one or zero, so it's four damage to the imp. Last but not least, the other imp is five damage. All right, I kill one of the imps. Good. Uh, that was the other one, so this one. Uh, what are the imps doing? They're attacking and poisoning, but they always do, so. Boy, I burned through a lot of my good plus cards already. That, not a good sign. <laughs> All right, so now the imp's gonna go. The imp's going to attack me for one damage. Zero damage, so my frost armor does not trigger, but I do get poisoned. Which is annoying. And then, oh yeah, that was the other thing too, is that I popped my health potion just to get rid of um, poison, which is not ideal. Uh, so then you are also going to attack me for, and I'm going to be muddled for next turn too, that sucks. Uh, for four damage, this one's just going to get straight blocked by the mage armor again. And I'm muddled for next turn. Muddled and poisoned. Well, this turn is going to be just, um, well, you, took, you guys took a lot of damage, didn't you? Uh, so forked beam might not be a bad idea. Nah, I'm, um, well, I could... We'll, we'll decide once we, once we see what we got. Um, if the Drake doesn't do anything, I'll kill the Imp. Um, otherwise, I think I'm going to be hitting and, uh, trying to kill and or stun the, the Drake. Not trying to stun, I will be stunning it. Heal and shield! Nope, okay, good. <laughs> You're doing AoE, alright. So, you're just going to be flat out hitting me. I'm already poisoned, so um, Forked Beam might kill you, but I think using you to stun and or kill the Drake is more important because you hit a lot harder. Um, and then I can move this turn as well. So, we will use Cold Fire with the Frost and Fire for a 3 damage base. Muddled. Or three damage and stun, so you're not quite dead, unfortunately. Stun. 
and then I will use the boots to go one, two, three, four. Again, I want to try to save the club for as long as I can. Okay, uh, now we got the Spitting Drake. This one is stunned. The other one is going to move three. One, two, three. And that one's done. Okay. Now the Imp is going to not move, but attack me for three damage base. One, two, three, four, because you have four range. So what did I say? Three damage base? Three damage. Okay. Four damage with the poison. Alright, short resting. This mat is really annoying. Um, can't have that. Oh, what did I grab? Son of a bitch, what did you grab? Oh, you grabbed the other modifiers? God damn it. Ah, oh, it's gonna be easier for me to grab these out. And now the modifiers are really big. Here, let's do, uh, shit. Uh, you know what? It's just gonna reset. I don't need them right now. Can Imp go there with three movement? The Drake has three movement. It went one, two, three because it's difficult terrain. The Imp didn't need to move. Please stack. There we go. What did I lose? Cold fire. I guess I'm not stunning anything anymore. Which is fine. It's high initiative and... Yeah, that's Drake. So, go in the door and make these guys come after me because as soon as I grab the loot chest... It'll lock. One, two, three, four. I can hit this imp with this thing and then move. And then I have to deal with this imp. Or do I want to try to come in here and kill that imp? I think I want to save... Oh. I'd rather kill the imp and then deal with the golem on its own. So maybe come in here and then on the way out whack that guy. So probably use you as a movement and then hit him hard. And then take a long... Uh, depending on what I need to do. If I need to kill it, if I need to attack it again, I will. And then I'll take a long rest and then move on to the trap. And hopefully this guy didn't get to me in time. Because their movement is what? Uh, that's not that one. What's their movement? Three? One, two, three... He would kill himself if he touched that trap, so... Yeah. If I get inside the door... One, two, three, four... I'd want to go three, so I'm not next to you. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, we're gonna do that. Twenty, you're gonna be cursing. Ah! So let's hopefully kill that imp, then. And you're gonna be targeting and poisoning. Doesn't matter, because I'm already poisoned, and I go before you, so... I do go before both of them. Good. So I'm using this as just a move three to get in here, which will activate imp number five. Right. And then uh, generating fire and doing four base damage. Muddle went away last turn. Three damage. I am going to be attacking you next turn. Uh, I do want them to come to me, though. Uh, so the drake is going to move. They're not moving. Alright, so the drakes aren't doing anything. Uh, the one imp is going to move one towards me, kind of like you did last round. And then the other imp is just going to flat out attack me. 
for one damage base. Minus one, but plus one because of the poison, so he does one damage. And curse. Sweet. Just what you want to see, of course. Uh, the fire goes down. So I could use this as an opportunity to heal myself. Take a long rest to heal myself more. And the turn after, grab that and my turn, which will make the golem spawn and do his stuff. That thing does 4 damage, this one does 3 damage base, you have 2 health left. Yeah, I'd rather get a long rest in before the golem comes. Uh, which means, unfortunately, this ether is going to get used a lot earlier than I wanted it to. Um, if this thing comes up and whacks that bear trap, and he will in order to reach me, that means that this thing's open and I could get here, so that my one jump is one, two, three, four, and I can avoid all the bear traps as long as that one gets burned. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to just heal myself to get rid of the poison, kill this thing, long rest, and hopefully this thing comes, kills itself. This thing will kill itself on the traps to get to me. Yeah, I like that plan. Okay, uh, there was no nulls or anything. What about mine? Went through a lot of cards. No nulls yet. Alright, Spitting Drakes are moving plus one. The Imps are not moving. Uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> but I definitely go before them. I can just have them. Okay, so. Let's kill this bastard. So we got three damage. Plus two is five, and generate a fire. Good, the simp is dead. Alright, um, and then I'm going to use the heal just to get rid of the poison. And I might as well pop this now. Well, that's kind of what I did last time, is that I... Used the that's exactly what I did last time actually. I used this to do the mana thing to get an extra health. But I think I think I'll wait on that actually. Okay, so that's my turn. Um Spitting Drakes, uh, they are moving four. Uh, well, this, your range is four, which means you have to go here in order to get me. And that's a five damage trap, which kills it. Thank you, Drake. Uh, the other Drake, it's got a movement of four, so it's two, three, four. Yeah, and you're gonna pop that trap too. I'll, that's good. I'll only need one of my jumps then, and my path will be clear. Um, and that trap will kill you then too, so long as you don't heal. And the imps, I said, were not moving. Yeah, good. Just <laughs> jump over everything and walk out. <laughs> okay, uh, so this one we are long resting. Which means that they just get to go. Starting with the imps. The imps are moving one. Which means he's going to... Uh, do that and kill himself because he doesn't have a whole lot of life left. Flyers don't trigger traps. Oh, Spitting Drake's a flyer! Ah, shit. Well, okay, that imp still dies right then. 
Because you're not a flyer, but that spitting Drake is not dead. Okay, hold on. Drake 3... He had, what, one health left? How much health did Drake have? I think it was just one. Um, flyers don't trigger traps, which means he would have attacked me then, right? Uh, for base, three damage and muddle. <sighs> but he misses me. But he muddles me. But I'm not attacking. I think I still do what I was planning to do regardless. Um, okay, so that imp still dies. This one comes here. This one doesn't need to move because I'm still in range of his AoE thing. But now he's going to be poisoning me, which... You're a bastard. Mr. Grinch. Uh, so it's two damage base, one damage, and a poison. You stupid player, Matt. God damn it. Okay, poison. Good. Alright. So that was his move. The other one already moved. Right? Did I do the other one already? No, I didn't, because uh, now he only has a move too, so it's, um... So, uh, wait, he's a flyer. Can he occupy a bookshelf then? Yes. So he would be here. And now he can move too. Okay. Uh, so then my long rest happens, the poison goes away, I get my boots back, and I get one of, or most of these cards back. So for the golem... This one's not all that important. Being able to heal self, good. So we will get rid of you, I think. So the golem's going to appear as soon as I end my turn on that thing. And I need to do that now. Um, it's going to appear over there. One, two, three, four. Okay, I can whack the thing first. Let's do that. Let's whack him. And... Um, is that going to generate a light? That's going to generate a light. So use this as the base move and then attack with you. health is a Drake have? Drake has three health. Maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to heal in place and then move there next turn. No, I, I, I need to get the golem to start hitting it. Although I think I'm in a better shape than I was last time. I haven't had to use my cloak of invisibility and I just got my boots back too. This is purely to hit the Drake before I leave and kill it. It's that on my way out. Oh man, that means that trap's there. Eh. Well, if I can time it right to get a long rest, I can get a jump and a jump. But as soon as I kill that thing, these guys are going to be coming out. I would really like to kill the golem really early so I can still use you as the jump, but I don't think that's going to happen, is it? Spent too long in the turn, uh, room before. Flexibility the turn after, I think, right? I'm already, well, I'm, uh, sh 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 use you as a heal. Next turn. No, I gotta pop it this turn. Flashbacks to the burning lab. <laughs> Only I'm not taking random damage from the, the burning lab.
In this one, I haven't been burning cards like mad. I've only burned two right now. And maybe that's what's holding me back, too. Maybe I shouldn't be burning one of the cards. But, you know, the, the mana shield, I think, ended up saving me... 9 health? Something like that? Uh, you know, I think I'm just gonna do this. It's fine. It'll all- what the fuck? It'll also generate another element next turn. Um, so I'm doing 26 for mine. The Drakes are doing exactly what they just did. Alright, well, first things first, I'm going to use my range 4 attack to whack that Drake. See, that plus 1 came in handy. For a 3 damage base. <laughs> it only had 1 health. So it's fucking dead anyways. Uh, Alright. I hate these player mats. Okay, let's just move it here. There hasn't been a null in here yet. Okay, jeez. So you are my discard, correct? God Christ. Unlock, move. Oh, you're right, I muddled. It's the same, he still did. But thank you. Ah, uh, the poison's no longer on there, tracker. Is there anything else that needs to be over there right now? No, okay. Th these mats wouldn't be so bad if when you change the number, it would stay locked, but... Um, okay, so I killed the Drake, and then I'm going to use you as a move to step it on the chest, which will lock this door, which means you're deactivated. also generate a frost. Um, and I guess now would be a good time to pop you, because I'm not poisoned right now. Uh, well, actually, I'm probably going to be healing next turn, so maybe not. It'll be a waste. And my strongest attack is this one, so the bow is going to be the better. Okay. So you're deactivated. And now the golem goes. Golem, you have what number are you? Four, doesn't matter because there's only one. Uh, Spitting Drake and Imp. It spawns there, right? Yeah, it spawns there. It has a range of three. One, two, three. Uh, so he can't hit me, but he does suffer two damage. That's fortunate, I guess. What's not fortunate is now he's out of my range. One, two, three. So... Use it as a base move, too, to get the coin and then whack him and not get the heal, I guess. Because uh, I've got two turns, and then I'll have to use you as the refresher, and then I've got very little time to get out at that point. Well, the goal would be to not burn cards, except for maybe the mana shield on the way out, but... Um, yeah, so you don't attack me, now we're on the next turn. These are all waning. The alternative... Well, yeah, he's four range away, so this one can't reach. Golem won't go the turn it is spawned. Wait, never mind. It does say spawn, technically. And that was the... By ending my turn there, it did spawn there. So you're saying it doesn't... It wouldn't uh, attack that first turn? Oh, then I screwed that up last time, too.
The scenario st it says it spawns specifically, so. Yeah, okay, so then this would be next turn then, technically. Alright, well, we'll consult the rules then. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, let's go back to the start. Through the index. Monster turn, reaction, monster focus. Terminator's character turn, move. Revealing a room? Does that count as revealing a room? Uh, maybe condition. No, conditions are the things that get applied. Um, Golem is a spawn out of summon. Summons don't act till turn summoned, but spawns do if I remember correctly. <laughs> Ambiguity is resolved. The. <laughs> I'd like to know because I that hmm. well let's try just going to 29 it's probably somewhere in there oh, unless it's on 29 revealing a room would be something let's let's or not 29 19 it would be nice to have that resolved uh revealing a room <laughs> The story book will specify this place for filling the room. Uh, standing over the room should be randomized to place for blah, 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 blah. Should have a new one on screen and the initial fill is on the new. You have any monster that is lower initial than the revealing character goes now. That's revealing a room. Uh. Here, let's go to Google. Oh, page 34. Okay, what does page 34 say? Spawning. When a monster spawned, it is set up on the map and spawn location to the nearest empty hex. If a monster spawned at the end of the round, it would begin to activate on the next round of spawns during a round it activates if it had just been revealed. Okay, there we go. That's what we need to see. Okay, so he does do this thing and do damage to himself. Good. Which means he won't be hitting me next turn when I go. So I think what I need to do on this one, I'll, well, I'll see what he's doing. But... Thanks, Google. Okay, so he is moving and attacking. Um, was there any way for me to go later? 44? Nah, he wouldn't have done that. He's only got a movement to one in range. Which means I can still use this to move forward. Um, well, this is a base four attack, and that's also a base four attack. This one gives me experience. That one will generate fire for next round. Well, I'm using a base move to go here, get the coin, because why not? Um...
which one's better? Just do that for the experience. Yeah, let's just do that for experience. It's fine. Here's a question for Sunkeeper. Okay. Ah, so I'm doing that for experience. What happened to my experience? You bastard. Come here. Four. I'm gonna move these off the map. Um, and so you are doing a four attack. Uh, given you're my strongest one, I should probably pop you, because why not? Four damage through shield. You got five left. Tactical order says one ally within three can perform move four. What if the ally is long resting? Then they would move four. Long resting just means that you aren't doing anything on your own. If someone makes you do something or allows you to do something extra, then good on you. So they could long rest, move four, and attack four. If you ha if you played both of those cards to force him to do that, that uh, is that moving ally one atop, and then you would use the make adjacent ally attack four on the bottom. I think is. I don't see any reason why- yeah, I don't see why you couldn't do that. Uh, so I just went, uh, you get to go now, this thing does movement one, and doesn't hit. So I could... Probably short rest. This guy's gonna get to me and hit me no matter where I am. to just do some damage and heal myself so I am hoping for a specific three cards and I did not get it I was hoping for this heal that's unfortunate <sighs> yeah I don't have any booze I'm just drinking some caffeine and unfortunately I can't risk can't risk rerolling. Wouldn't he be? Wouldn't he be? Wouldn't be able to give him the attack if he's no longer adjacent after the move? Wouldn't be able to give him the attack. I let him go first and then move next turn. I guess I don't understand. Well, I definitely want to save you so I don't have to lose an HP next turn, so we'll just do you and go quick. Or go late and let him come or try to hit me. And then next turn I can just be away. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so 44 is the latest I can do, sir. 83! Well, that's just a free whatever. Okay, I go for I go before you. So... Like I said, no matter where I stand, you're going to be able to hit me. I think I want to move you to the corner, though, so we will um, use you as the move. Well, what I think he was um, talking about was wherever the, the guy was long resting, he would uh, either move him towards or move him next to him to attack or force him to attack and then move away or something like that. So it's a, I think it's assumed that at some point his partner would be next to him. All right, so four damage and generating fire. Four damage, there's two shield, he's got three life left. Bring it. Uh, and then I'm popping this for sure. I could also, nah, actually I want, I think I want him to come here. I'll move here. To hopefully bring him here. 
attack, move up, and then, yeah. Alright, so you're, you're gonna come and hit me now. Um, you're gonna do three damage base. You're gonna move here. Do three damage. Or do I want you to go here so I can actually reach you? I want you to go there, okay. Three damage, four damage, ow. Alright. Um, I won't be able to attack you this turn. And you're not my move four. Um, that's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, rather than get attacked, I'm gonna take the one damage. And go fast to get my cards back. Alright, what do you got, sir? 20. Moving extra, and you're doing damage yourself. That's nice. Good. Because uh, I am going to go 1, 2, 3, 4 into this corner, so you can't reach me. The uh, the range... The, the move is like a range 4. You can choose one alley within range 4 to move 4. Or the... Anyway, it, the moving is uh, a range, the attack is you have to be Jason. Uh, so I'm generating a dark and getting back all my cards. Alright, now I gotta kill him and get the fuck out of here. So you have a move of two this time. And you do one damage yourself. So, I just gotta do four damage to you this turn. And then I am golden. Do I want to spend a turn healing myself? Probably. And then move next turn. Attack this one, two, three, four. You're there. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I could do a cold fire. Cold fire would at least reach him. So if I generate fire... Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. Let's do that. Um, so I'm going to be doing you as an attack and healing myself to hopefully kill the golem. Um, I have not drawn my null yet. I'm getting very, very nervous. Yep, that's... That's what I'm expecting. Alright. Golem before the golem. Golem is... Not moving. All right, so it doesn't matter if he if I miss. Right, it still matters if I miss because it's a wasted turn. But um, we are going to do the bottom heal because I need health really badly. Generating fire and attacking four, three damage. Ah, uh, that's almost just as bad. Damn it. Well. He's not attacking, because he can't move. <sighs> What's left? I think there's a negative one, a null, and I think there is a curse in there yet too, so... <laughs> this is not looking good. Um, well, I can definitely kill him this turn. Uh, is there any bottoms that I want to use? Probably a move three on the bottom, so hit him and then move three. There's only one target, but, um, well, uh, shoot. I definitely want to use the fire, because uh, this is more attack than that. Or I could use this. This would be also three attack. And then the following turn. Well, actually, as soon as I kill this thing, the, um, the drake is going to come hit me. By moving up to the door, the Drake is still going to have to move to get in, in view. And the following turn is when I want to move up and whack him. I think Fire Orbs is just going to be a discard and or move, so that's fine. Um, probably going to do you and... And you as a move three, I guess. Alright, what you got, Golem? 
golem is going to kill itself. Just like last time. Oh, I should have gone slow because then the golem would kill itself and I could move out. That's unfortunate. Well... Alright, well, we're going to burn this for a 3 base attack and 5 experience. There we go! 3, 4 damage, I killed the goal. Okay, which means these guys now activate. I've got uh, imp number 6 and 10. And they've got 8 health apiece. Drake is two and six. They both got eight health. And the Drakes are moving and attacking. All right. The Imps are also moving and attacking. The Golems are done. All right, so that was my attack. My next thing is just to move three. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then it's just run out. Are you gonna be able? Yeah, you're gonna be able to get me and do a ton of damage. I really want to save the cloak for later, so we're just gonna do that, I guess. All right. So it is the imp's turn. The imp's are moving one towards me. One. One. The drakes are moving three, range four. One, two, three, four. I think that hits me, right? Uh, one, two, three, one, two. So spinning drake one hits me for four damage. Five damage. Can I kill this guy right now? I don't think so. So I'm going to short rest. Yeah, fire orbs. Not going to be much use right now. And you go away. Okay, so I want to hit... I want to kill this guy. He's got five health left. And I've got nulls coming up. Hold on. Nope. That's not what I want to do, actually. I have a better idea. I need to long rest. This is actually perfect timing. I'm gonna use that as the move, because uh, there was a move four in there, right? Yeah, move four. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna use that as the move four to get over that. I think then is the good time to cloak because then I can long rest, get some health back, get my boots back. Seems like good timing there, and then the Drake won't actually do anything, so let's do that. 20, 57, and 76, and then they won't move either and block the door, although you're not going to move anyways. So, alright. So, we're going to use my boots. One, two, three, four. Unfortunately, that means I am going to be disadvantaged. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That wouldn't be too bad. I get a coin for it. And I'm not disadvantaged. Um, actually, with this attack, I want... To, uh, I changed my mind. I think the, the coin is not worth it. I want to be disadvantaged here. I want to be muddled. Wait, I'm muddled anyways, because he hit me, right? Yeah, I'm going to be muddled anyways. Okay. I forgot that he hit me last round. So, uh, given that he hit me last round, I'm going to be muddled regardless. So, I'll be pulling two. I'm hoping it's a curse and a null to get the curse out and to reshuffle my deck. So, I got a lot of good cards again. So, here we go. Plus one, 
And there's the null. Okay, well, at least I shuffle. Um, there's the curse. Uh, I was one card away from the curse. Okay, good. So then you get shuffled. I am popping my cloak here. So that they don't do anything this turn. And since there's no target, they don't do anything. Alright, so that's that turn. So this turn I'm long resting. Uh, which means you guys are going to be doing your stuff. Which is nothing. And now my long rest happens. What card do I not want? One, two, three, four. If I go here, these guys are still out of range. If I wait here... This drake's gonna hit me, that drake's gonna hit me. If I wait a turn to heal to hit the drake and then move... Do I think I can kill the drake? Mm. And by wait here to heal, I mean pop my mage armor. Where's my move for? My move for is here or here. You're the better move for because you're lower. I got two 20s. Pop this and hope that it's not an attack. And then next turn move. Because these this imp is not going to move unless the drake goes before it. Um, I would really like them to not be on the staircase. One, two, three, four... Three, four. Only the drakes are going to be hitting me. And I have I have a lot of cards I can discard. Um, it's going to take a one... It's going to take a four... Two, four... It's going to take a second move four to get here. And then I can move, move, move. I think I... I think I just need to go for it. I think I need to run. Just not even attack. I mean, I probably still have an attack in there, but... Um, save you as just a... Disc oh, I need to discard a card. Um... Cold fire. I'm not going to be using you. Step two, then jump for it. No, um... I can't, because the... Uh, don't you remember going into difficult terrain? You have to do the full move. Jump only helps you get over it. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So I won't be able to do that. One, two, three... One, two, three, four. And this is where I wish I had the heal and move. We decided the opposite when we played the sewer. Then that would make sense. Because then I could save my move four for one, two, three, four. I would still be one short of the entrance. Although, if I was here, one, two, three, four. No, I would have to go here. But if any of them move up there, that's going to be a problem. The drakes only have a movement of three. So next turn, he's going to be here. And then I'll have to... He'll be in my way. So I, I don't think that's... Well, it's going to happen anyways, right? If I move here and he's here, I'm going to have to kill this drake. Oh wait, I'm here. Right, I'm here. No, I'm here. Where, wait, where am I? One, two... I'm here. One, two, three, four. Because I could reach the door. The drakes are flying, you're right. I played that wrong last round. So 
the Drakes will be here next turn, is what you're saying. So maybe I do want to do that then. Okay, uh, so new plan. I'm going to move two and whack this Drake. So use you as a move two then? I don't have any elements. Drake's gonna hit me. Quite hard, in fact. Or kill it. Uh, heal myself, kill the Drake. Move two, move four. Because the Imp only has one movement, and so it can't actually get on the stairs. The longer I wait, this other Imp's gonna come in and start whacking me. Do I delay a turn to heal so I can survive this Drake attack? Or do I just say, screw it, and start discarding? Three health. So I'm not muddled right now. I got a good shot of actually killing this thing. Oh, I... I pop mage armor. How many turns do I got then? Mage armor would help a lot. Mage armor. And then there's the move and attack. Move four and attack. Attack move. Attack move. Try to go fast, and well, that's only three damage on him. I'd have to get, I'd have to get my plus twos, and there is a. I'll shuffle this out in a sec. I've got a lot of plus twos in there. That's why I'd rather use the U as the attack, but then I'm not going really quickly, and the Drake might get a hit on me first. And then if I have to discard, what do I discard? The heal, because I'm not going to be. But that's my my quickest ability. Alright, we'll go with that. I think 44. That means they're both gonna go before me. Uh, I'd really go before them. Try to kill this thing. Engulfed is 4 what? 4 damage. Yeah, no, 4 damage. That's why I want to attack with that one, so the other ones. And that would also mean that this could get powered up to 4. Uh, I think I'm gonna do. I want to use you as my basic move too, do I? Let's use the frost armor as my move too. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. 20. 27. So long as you don't get immobilized. The imps are going to heal! Okay, well nothing's damaged yet. Oh yeah, I guess they are damaged. And they get extra movement for that. Well, that's annoying. Drakes are the drakes are not moving though. Ah, good. Uh, so that means I'll only get hit by the one drake then. Although with his movement three, I don't think he could hit me anyways. But I'd rather not get poisoned. So let's um, kill this bastard, please. Uh, we'll move here. Or actually, hold on. Let's let's attack him first. Times two! Awesome. Alright, that Drake's dead. Fuck off! <laughs> God damn it. Okay, now I definitely will just use that as a move too. Okay. Okay, so the Drakes are not moving. The Imps are also not moving because there is nothing to heal. Good! They skipped their entire turn. Oh. I'll be right back one second. I need to walk around.
Sprint for the door, indeed. Okay, so I... Let's see. I do have an element now. I have fire. So I'll pop you and you, and then you and you. Or, wait a minute. I can use the fire for you for three attack. Versus four. And then if they end up doing faster... Wait a minute. I can go... Then I'll be here... And I can hit those two guys. It's too bad I don't have a frost here. Uh, well, given you're going to be going... F uh, so I'm going to use the lowest initiative I got to try and go quick. Yeah, we're going to use the boots. Alright, what do you got? 87. You're attacking a lot harder than normal. And you are strengthening and muddling. Ah, good. The imps aren't doing anything. Well, the imps are going to strengthen the, the drakes, of course, which... It's going to hurt, but... Uh, anyways, we got a 20, which means we beat all of them. So we're going to use the boots and my move four to go here. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to burn the fire to hit the drake two and the imp ten. See if I can't... Uh, so for the drake, it's plus one, so it's four damage to drake number two. And the imp is uh, disadvantage attack, so minus one, only two damage to imp number ten. Good. So long, the longer I go without poison, the better off I'll be. Um, unfortunately, I think you can hit me from where you are. One, two, three, four, yes. But that's what these two are for, right? For negating attacks if needed. Okay, so you are strengthening all allies within range two. They cannot strengthen each other, so it's just the drakes. Good. And now the drakes are moving two and attacking one. Well, they don't have to move because they're just going to hit me. Oh, plus one, so that's five damage. Oh, this sucks. Hold on a second. I've, I got four cards left, so I got... I can negate these two and get two more turns so long as I don't take any more damage after that. Um, but first, let's see what they got. So they got, they got strengthen, zero or zero, so that's five flat damage. Uh, I guess I'm discarding. And the other one is zero or plus two. I have to discard again. That hurt a lot. <sighs> hey, guess what? I need to short rest. Um, so it's going to be move and attack. I can definitely kill one of the drakes with you. One, two, three, four. I think that's what I have to do. All right. Oh, we're getting close, guys. Getting close. The drakes are not moving, but they... Oh, they're not moving, but they're stunning. That's not good. And you're cursing as well. That's a lot of attacks coming my way. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, is that line of sight? Can you... Hit that? I think you can. That sucks. Uh, if I go here, no. That's good. One, two, three, four. Or four. Four? I said it's just a base move, too, then, no matter what. Yeah. And then the other imp can't hit me either. So it's just those two. Basically, if I can survive this attack. Uh, so it's four damage base to Drake two. Four damage to the base. Uh, Drake is dead. All right, good. This Drake is not moving, and so he can't hit me through the door. I generate a fire. Okay, so the imp. The imp is moving one if it needs to. I don't think it needs to. This one will move up. And then it's attacking me for one damage. 2 damage, that's fine, and I'm poisoned and cursed. Uh, 
I already got curses on. Oops. And that Drake is not doing anything because it can't reach me. Good. All right. Moment of truth. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Um. Yeah. Uh oh. I'm gonna be upset if this doesn't work. Oh crap. Oh. Oh, oh! I think I got it. All right, so the imps are shielding and healing self one. That's fine, I don't care. And I go before the Drake. Which means I... Base move two. Uh, do I attack the Emperor? Uh, well, let's we'll hit him first. Can I hit this one through the door? I mean, he can't hit me, but if I hit this and this is the AoE, or do I have to have line of sight on all of the hexes? I probably have to have line of sight on all the hexes. Otherwise, I could go through the door and hit all of them. <laughs> Well, we'll just... I, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to go here. Or... Well, I can't burn the loot. Never mind. And then I think technically we still do the round. So it uh, he moves three. Uh, one, two, and then attacks me. But it doesn't matter because I have two cards in here. Enough to negate the damage. And he misses me anyways. Yeah! <laughs> God damn it. One health left. Oh, wow, yes. Yes, definitely, definitely difficult. Okay, so, conclusion. You race from the shop back into the sunlight, the corrupted monsters not far behind. As you clear the door, the alchemist slams it shut and bolts it from the outside. The monsters screech and bang angrily against the door, or against the wood. Looks like you didn't manage to take out all of them, the Quattro muses. I wonder, do, would it be possible to have enough cards or luck, luck enough to kill them all? Nah, 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 these imps are elite and muddled, so I, I, I think you... You can't kill them all. No matter. Not your problem anyway. Glad to see you at least found the potion. Given the nature of how this whole situation turned out, you can take it free of charge. You consider offering additional help, but you'd be pretty useless in your current state. It's time to head back to your room and get some rest. Then you'll be able to test the limits of your new power. Alright, so we just got the Volatile Elixir. Um, so let's uh, try not to spoil that, or spoil the rest of the items for you guys. Um, Windows, please. Windows decided to die on me. Okay. I cannot use my Windows key anymore. That happens sometimes. Well, I uh, can't be helped. Uh, wait, can I, uh, let's see. Zoom in, maybe? Yeah, okay. So we can do this, so... Uh, where is it? Here. We'll do this. Alright, so this is what we unlocked. Oh, there's my windows. So you'll do that, but you won't let me use my windows key? Really? Okay, well, whatever. The volatile elixir during your ranged attack add plus two attack and gain advantage on the entire attack action, but suffer two damage for each attack made. And it costs 50. 
All right, so we'll finish up what we got. Um, that was the end of the round. I don't think I generate any more experience, so I got three coins, which is worth three apiece. That's nine gold. And I got the Volatile Elixir. Nice but harsh, yes, definitely. Alright, so we will load the original one up. And then I think I'm going to try the Sunkeeper one. Because I had uh, gone through and retired that one as well. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, so like I said, I got, uh, what did I say, 9 gold, so that's back up to 16. I also got the Volatile Elixir. I don't think that's in the game, probably. Sol solo items! <gasps> wow, they got the solo items in here. Uh, there we go. Uh, the only thing is... I'd have to give up on the other ones, which is fine. Um, just get rid of the Power Potion. Probably give up the the power potion because I only had an opportunity cost. So I'll get five of that back. And how much experience did I get? Uh, I forgot how much experience I got. Something like four. I don't know. Anyway, my hand disappeared now. What? What? All right, that worked. Weird. The game is breaking and I can't help it. Ah, uh, so it's gonna go back in the item page. Yeah, that's nice. They got all the uh, the soul items already in here. And Pat had already left, otherwise I'd say, Hey Pat! Now we can add Volatile Elixir to it. And technically, since I created this character, it is valid. Uh, did I end up... Oh yeah, I definitely got that. Okay, I got a check mark as well, because we had to loot it, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to finish that. Um, so yeah, I think I'll save this character then. I might as well. Uh, yeah, so we'll save that. Alright, uh, I don't think the Sunkeeper is in here though, so...